All right. So, okay, sir. Can I have the introduction, Lakshmi? Can I have a small introduction of you? I, I am I am Ashish Lakshmi from Jawada. Okay. So presently, what are you doing? Studying or doing job? Uh, my housewife. Housewife, okay. Presently staying at Vijayawada itself or? Uh... No. Um, I'm in Hyderabad, but uh, some other locations in Hyderabad location? IDPL. Okay, IDPL. Good. All right. Thank you very much, SSV Lakshmi. So let's continue for today as we have offline participants also. Let us start the session. So let me introduce myself. Myself, Mohamed Khadir, work as an IT faculty as well as Director Team Excel Ethics Private Limited. So I'm a Microsoft certified trainer, certified by Microsoft, Microsoft Office Specialist as well as Microsoft Excel expert with various version. So I'm a corporate trainer where I've imparted classes most of the uh, corporate clients. So let me share some of my clients where I've imparted classes mostly on advanced Excel. So these are my clients where I've imparted classes mostly on advanced Excel. Right, this is only one slide. Like this, I have a couple of more slides. So, so as of now, you can see in this particular slide, one of the biggest organization is Aditya Birla, KPMG. It's a uh, competitor to Deloitte. They like similarly Tata Technologies, Genpact, Capital Land. Right, they like similarly. I have imparted a financial organization like Bank of America, DCB Bank, DHFL, Oblos, Fed Banks, Royal Sundaram. These are financial organizations as well as got an opportunity to impart classes for uh, pharma organization like Sanofi, right, New Land, Biocon, GVK Bio, Aizan. These are some of the uh, pharma organizations. So uh, got an opportunity to impart classes for uh, NMRMS universities also. This is one of the, uh, in North, uh, it, it comes under top three universities. NMR, Nancy Moji Institute of Management Science. Right. So it's a university where uh, in Hyderabad also they have branch uh, where I got an opportunity to impart classes for staff as well as for students. MBA, final year students, first year, for second year, final year students. The next. Recently, in the last year, got an opportunity to impart classes for IIM, IIM Udaipur. Right. The next uh, got an opportunity to impart uh, for GSI. Geographical Survey of India, Geological Survey of India. So it's a government, uh, central government organization. The next uh, for state, I got an opportunity in part for government sectors also, where you can see police department, prison department, water wa uh, water and land management, that is Walam Tari. The next got an opportunity in part classes for NTPC, right? The next, uh, I got an opportunity in part classes for custom department, so custom department uh, airports. Then next got an opportunity to impart classes for uh, other government sectors also. So let me show you one of my biggest achievement of my career where I got an opportunity. So hope most of you are aware of uh, civil service offices. So civil service officers got an opportunity to impart classes in the year 2016 to impart classes for uh, IS level offices. So where I got an opportunity to impart classes for IS of in-service IS officers from 13 different states. Right, 13 different states where you can see these are some of the picks of that particular client. So you can see on that day, the session was also on Excel for them. Just a minute.
All right, so let's continue. So here you can see, uh, these are, uh, you can see all our IS officers, in-service IS officers got an opportunity to impart them. There are about 60 participants in a group, in a batch. Then like similarly, you can see other different departments like uh, Ajmira group, this is for it's a uh, real estate business organization where it is at Mumbai. The next NMIMS University. As I told, so for staff as well as for students. The next similarly, I am Udaipur, the students of IIM. Classroom at Parthwear. So high radius, it is at high set high tech city. Right. So other different clients, all our different clients where I've imparted police department. It's a different experience in between all police officers. So now let us go to intelligence department. Got an opportunity to impart them also. ITM. These are different organizations where I have imparted classes. So this is this experience is fine. Now let me take you through the topic for today. So as we are attending for demo, so what are the topics we'll be discussing? What are what what is Excel ethics is about? So let me share you about uh, first of all. Let me share you about Excel ethics first. small introduction about Excel Ethics. So Excel Ethics, now it's called as Team Excel Ethics Private Limited. Now it, we are in a private limited organization. One-stop destination for training and business consulting solution. Right. So business consulting training as well as with support for others, uh, office also, corporate clients. So as every company has a vision, vision, we need to have mission, vision, vision. The next milestones, it's a data analytic institute since 2014. 10 years recently, we have completed an ISO 2001-2015 certified training data analytics training institute. 
so managed by highly profile uh, uh, highly team of highly motivated microsoft certified professionals they like corporate uh, we have uh, corporate types more than 30000 plus linkedin collection facilitated with 5000 microsoft certificates so from all the from all the students they like trained more than 30000 20000 plus since 2014 plus not only 20000 20000 plus students were on ms office our all this training the next top rank top one of the training institutes under our uh, urban pro educational ca category institute cat category the next as a data, data analysis institute you can see all different right our menus what are the courses we are providing in in our institute so we are providing courses like advanced excel vba sap automation power apps power bi ms access python tableau data science sap fico business analyst these are the courses so we are providing as one of the uh, certified training institute we are we are we can see microsoft office specialist certification we are providing as we are into industry from last 10 years we have customized some of the courses where it will be useful for the students like analytic power pack it consists of all different three courses called as power excel power bi as well as sql the next power bi pl certificate uh, can, can also be done the next consulting solution excel reporting supporting part of for the employees where, 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 where they are working with the projects so highlights what are the highlights we, we partner with colleges corporate groups Provide real-time project assistant, post-training support, support with interview questions, online offline training will be provided, provided placement assistance, provide training and backup sessions. So as I uh, as I told, customized course, Power Pack, which consists of three courses, Advanced Excel, SQL, and Power BI. With real-time projects, consists of 80 hours, total overall. And then we have customized one more course called as Bipper. So this particular course is for freshers those who are planning for a corporate. So you can see course to make you corporate ready. So before directly going for a corporate, once you're familiar with these courses, it will be very useful for them. So it starts for web, starts for Word, Excel, Access, PowerPoint, Outlook, and networking skills. Word, Excel, abbreviation. Right, which consists of 50 hours of or duration. After completion, you can easily crack your corporate jobs so these are the duration with all details our partners so we have a uh, partner with college clients like saint joseph degree and pg college the next hindu college for umel university uh, university of hyderabad planet finance saint mary's college Corporate clients like Dr. Eddie's Foundation, Real Page, HSBC, Data Projects, BNG. So these are some of the clients. Not only this, we have many more like this. So as I have sh shared you some of the clients where I have imparted. This is a founder, Mr. Kishore Kumar Alantapalli. So founder of this institute. And this, he, he also holds certification of Microsoft Office uh, Certified Trainer. And these are our team members. Testimonials from different clients. Reviews. So wherever, wherever you go, whichever online platform you go. So we are available at all social media platform. So presently we are, we are running with four centers. We have one is head office at Abir Pet, and then we have Usman University Incubator. In Usman University campus itself, we have one branch, and then KPHB. Now, presently, we are this particular session is from Chikarpali. So, we have a branch at Chikarpali also. Right now, so this is about our Excel ethics. Now, as we are into analytics, as we are going with a topic called as Excel, advanced Excel. So as per my experience, I have came across with most of the participants, those who wants to join Excel, advanced Excel. And uh, as per their experience, some of them, like school days, college days, they'll be learning 
excel and also uh, wherever i go for a corporate training so they are also ask for a advanced excel so when i ask for the basic excel queries they are not familiar with excel basic directly doing their regular routine works and all not familiar with the basic the main important concept whenever we are learning any course main important is familiarize with the basic once you are perfect with the basics you can easily understand the advanced topics so without any basic knowledge if you plan for an advanced then it's very difficult to understand the concept also right so let me take you some alignment at what level we are here let us see with this particular example at what level we are so you can see here we have an example where you can see i have a raw data right with this particular raw data i want to do uh, some basic stuff like i have taken one example name called as formatting so when you go with the formatting so how we'll do formatting let us see by using some shortcut commands right so if i want to let me here you can see i have a raw data that is that but totally merged let me i can't see this full details employee name at all so what i can do let me if i want to take a print out of this particular data i can't take it because it's totally uh, let me it's not readable mode so what i need to do i need to adjust this particular column width manually like this right so manually you can adjust or else so i'm not confident how much width it will be so what we can do is just double click on in between column just double click on it so that it adjusts your column width content wise similarly i can adjust double click on it so that you can see column width as well so as part of my demonstration i have taken only seven different columns but practically in our real time scenario we will be working with more than seven different columns let's take an example i am working with 40 columns here i'm working with 40 columns so 40 columns means 40 times i need to double click so it's a time taking process end of the day we can do but it's a time taking like uh slowly we are doing right dot 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 right so instead of doing such things if i want to do fast what we can do is we can directly go in between this 1 and a you can see a rectangle box just click on it so entire sheet will be selected now just double click on any one of the column in between any one of the column automatically it will adjust your column width no need to manually adjust right so this is what column width have been adjusted the entire data part have been adjusted now if i want to take a print out of this particular data i can't directly take a print out of this because excel data would look like excel data until unless we apply borders to this particular data right without borders it would look like an excel sheet right so what we'll do first of all we'll be selecting the data part so select any one of the cell within the data and then go for control a go for control a so that only data part have been selected so terminology why this particular part is called as a region only data region have been selected it has not selected the entire sheet so outside you can see it has not selected so practically what i have seen with most of the participant they will be selecting a cell outside of the data and try to do control e so you can see lots of difference between the previous one and this one previous one and this one there is lots of change right so recommended is better to select a cell within the data and then go for control e now what to apply borders to this so borders we can directly go to this home tab and then you can go to this drop down and then we can go for all borders similarly if i want to remove this particular borders required based on requirement we can directly go to this drop down no borders as of now i have gone using mouse pointer if i want to use this option with a shortcut command how we can do so just from left hand in from your keyboard left hand you can see an option in for a tab uh, that but key called as alt when i press alt key on top some option have been activated some options have been activated So I can see my border option in Home tab. Oh, 
So just press H. When I press H, you can see this list have been activated. From this particular list, I want to go with borders. So B. Right. So and I want borders for all. So all borders. A. This is manual, manual method we have there. So let me go back. If I want to, if I combine all keys, which I have used, just now used, will come as a shortcut. R, H, B, A. That's it. It's a shortcut key. So what are topics? Right? But if I go like this, R, H. So you, you need to remember all these keys, which we have more than 400 shortcut keys, which we can't remember in our regular day to day. So which are regularly used, that particular topic, if you are familiar, that's more than enough. Right. So one of the shortcut key is this. Applying of a borders. If I want to remove these particular borders, Alt H B. What is the shortcut key to remove borders here? What I can use here? Alt H B. And no borders. Alt H B A. No need to hold all keys at a time. Just individually you can do Alt H B N. Alt H B A. So these are regularly used ones. So once you, once you practice this, you can remember these shortcut keys. Right. Similarly, so if I want to take a printout, so the, our data title as well as my data looks same. So it should be different when compared to your regular data. So what I'm doing is I'm just selecting this title. Right. With the help of mouse pointer, I can directly select my title bar. Right. Or uh, select the title first. Use a shortcut command. Control, shift, right arrow. Right. And if I want to make a thickness in this, you can use control B, bold. Right. So control B is the shortcut key. Or else you can use another shortcut key, control 2. Right. So on screen, you can see when I go to this particular bold option, I can see only what shortcut key is available. So if you are familiar with the hidden shortcut keys, then at the point of interview or those who are not aware, you are aware. So we can work out more fast when compared to others. Right. So control two is a shortcut key for bold. Right. Similarly, suppose let's take an example uh, for today's demonstration. These 15 participants are expected to join. But unfortunately, most of the participants have not joined. So I need to send this particular report to my higher official that so 15 were expected, but unfortunately only three have been attended. So 12 have not attended. So those who are the 12 members, I need to highlight like this. Manually will be highlighting. These are the persons have not joined. If I'm using a soft copy. So soft copy or hard copy, take a printout. So in some cases, what happens? If I'm highlighting with this color, so this much color will be wasted. Unnecessary. Right. So what we'll do is, we'll take a printout normal data and manually with the help of pen, we'll strike it off. Right. We'll strike with the help of pen. These are the persons have not joined or cross mark. So we have not, they have not come or circle with the red pen. Right. So instead of doing all such things, what you can do, suppose this entire details or individual name, you can select individual name, go for control five, strike it off their names. This shortcut we won't see on screen. To apply, to remove also same control five. Right. So like this, you can apply. Then next, similarly, to take a printout, what, what more I can do? Here is this one. Date of joining. So because of nothing but copy paste, copying and pasting our data from one sheet to another sheet. So our data, actually, my data should look like this. Date for pay. So because of copying and pasting my data to one sheet to another sheet, 
it has changed it to number. It has changed it to number. So now I want to convert this particular number to date format. So how will convert? First of all, if I want, if I convert it to date, the width may not be sufficient. So what I what I will do is initially just let's increase the column width. Right. So now we'll select the column because not only one cell. We have nothing but all records I need to select. So most of the party, most of the time, what I've seen with the participant is we'll be selecting like this straight away column, entire column will be need to change it to date format. But here you can see the when I select like this, it will select the entire column without data part. Also, it is selected. It's unnecessary, we are selecting this particular column. So I want to select till here only last. So what we'll do is select the first cell. Control shift down arrow. Control shift down arrow. So it will go to the last cell. It won't select beyond that. Only content part till last row where it is, it will select till there. And if I want to go to top with the selection, control backspace. So that we can come to top with the selection. Because I, I want to convert this particular number to date. So if you want to convert it to date, the data should be selected more. So I can easily select from here, drop down, and then short it. Right. Then next, similarly, here basic salary. So basic salary here you can see, uh, for a first person you can see 18,547. So 18,547 means as, as I'm pronouncing it, 18,000. So I want comma separator here. Comma style. 18, comma, 547.00. As it is in a salary board, so I want decimal values also. So if I add decimal value, this, this, uh, this column width may not be sufficient. So let me increase the column width. The same method will be selecting control shift down arrow. Control shift back. Control backspace. Lakshmi Garu. Parle the English. We can uh, we can try to work out with Telugu also. Madhyal Madhyal Telugu gorada pronounce yes or problem le da me ko. No problem. English arda ho to gar. Ha arda ho. Okay. So Telugu lo kaal ante depend upon the number we can shift to Telugu also. In Telugu English rendu kalpi gorada chapra jaru gar. End of the day, ever ever join out to Nalaka, Ardava with the Gachapa. End of the day, course I paint the Ravata, either Radu, Chapaledu, like Raleo, Chapakunda, but a yen escuna, Kuchal escuna, perfect yen escuna. That is my main training. Right now, so I've selected this entire column. The next, I want comma separator. So on screen, you can see this comma style. Just click on this comma. Straight away, you can see we got it. comma with a decimal. So, like this, we can do formatting. If you are familiar with shortcut keys, within five to five minutes, we can prepare this type of resources. The very important data entry, if you have done, then we can do formatting easy. Without that, manually, if you are doing every each and every, it will take tough time. Right? To complete this, it might take half an hour also. If you're not familiar, much familiar, we need, we'll be doing manually every one. So if you're familiar with these type of shortcut keys, we can easily work out within five minutes. Right. So in a corporate, they'll try, they'll ask to do as early as possible. If you submit within per time, that's a great. Right. So this is about a small practice on formatting skills using some shortcut commands. So now let me take you through what are the topics we will be covering this advanced Excel as we are regularly using a terminology advanced Excel. As well as, uh, as per the title suggested, data analytics with Excel. So analytics, so preparing of reports. How we'll be preparing reports. Not only writing a formulas, preparing of reports, how we'll be doing. That will be saying in this particular one. So let me tell you what are the topics we'll be covering in this advanced Excel course, Excel course, right? So let me share you that.
So advanced Excel is fine. As just now we have seen that we're basic formatting at what level we are in Excel, right? So now what we'll do is, even though we are starting with an advanced Excel, first two to three days or four days based on all participants. So we'll be starting basics from scratch. From scratch with, we'll be starting with the terminology like what is Excel? What are the terminologies used in Excel? What are the uh, models, the next versions, when it has been started? What are the extensions, user interface of Excel, cut, copy, paste, paste special, all these will be discussed. Scratch, from scratch, right? So what are the font group? How will be changing fonts and all, color and all, alignments, left, center alignment, left alignment, orientation, right? Merging of cells, data types, the number group, the next we'll be discussing conditional formatting, formatting as a table, cell styles, inserting, deleting rows and columns, formatting of a cell, the next fill options, up, down, right, left, the next find, replace, go to all these particular topics we'll be discussing from scratch up to three days to four days. So that everyone will be to one level. So to understand the concept of advanced Excel. So we won't directly take it to advance because some basic topics will be, will be missing. If I'm familiar with these particular basics, I can easily work out with advanced topics. So when you come with advanced, the main important point is writing of a formulas. So what are, what do you mean by Excel? What is formula? How will write a formula? How to start a formula in Excel? So if with equal to sign, we'll start, but nothing but understand the query and writing a formula. That is very important. So higher official have asked for report. So how to write that particular formula for a report? All these will be discussed. What are the terminologies used when you are writing a formulas? Right. What is optional argument and uh, mandatory argument? How many ways we can give an input formula? So formulas means how many inputs will be there? So all these will be discussing in one session. So that formula easily you can write any formula. Right. So the next mathematical operators, comparison operators, cell references, text functions, date functions, logical functions, uh, mathematical functions, statistical functions, right? Information functions, lookups, all these will be discussed. Formulas related. The next will be coming with reports related. After completion of formulas, we'll try to prepare reports. When you go with the reports in between requirement, you might be, uh, you might come across to insert pictures, right, smart art graphics, screenshots, spark lines, right, filtering, slices, inserting of hyperlink concept, right, header and footer, the next calculation part, all these. The next simultaneously we'll be working with printing of these particular reports. Once you prepare a report, how we can take a print out. So, right, themes, space setup, space scaling. Right, execution, formula execution, how we'll be executing your formulas, how we'll be doing audit to your formulas, the dependency, auditing and all can be done. The next data management. So data management is one of the very most important topic we'll be discussing in our regular class. So connection with external data application, external applications. So not only Excel file, so you can open some other applications also in Excel. So where we'll be connecting the source, like nothing but from SQL or from database, different application, SQL database, text to functions, website. From website also, we can pull out data directly, which is in tabular format, right? The next sorting, filtering, sorting, normal sorting, multi-level sorting, coloring sorting, color-wise sorting, all can be done. Simultaneously, filtering of your text, numbers, text for color, font color, all can be done. So normal filter, advanced filter also will do. Difference between normal filter and advanced filter can be done. Data tools, the next data validation concept we will be discussing. The next data protecting techniques, how to protect your document. All these particular part will be discussing. End of the day, last topic is remain with data analysis and visualization. The important point of this analysis is preparing of a report which helps to create that but by using pivot table, we'll be preparing analysis, right? So what is pivot table? How to insert pivot table? All these particular concepts will be discussed. 
once you are done with that, so course is done. So not only, uh, not 100%. So we are done with 90%. After completion of all this, using this particular one, so using charts and all, preparing of a dashboard will be done. So after completion of this dashboard and all, we'll be having one project session. So real-time project session. So which useful to prepare pivot table. Real-time example we'll be taking and then practice it. So once you are done with that, the entire course is done. To complete this entire uh, content which I have told, it will take around one month period. So one month period, so we are working from Monday to Friday. So weekdays, Monday to Friday, it will take around 20 sessions. So 20 sessions as of now with all, all Monday to Friday, five days, four weeks, so one month. Right. So in some cases, it might extend up to 22 to 25 sessions also. So I'm not directly telling like 25 because we might complete our session by 20 sessions. It depends upon the queries, right? Practicing, right? So in some cases, queries might be more. So topic may, might be slow. So in that particular says, cases, we might be extending the sessions. I'm not fixing with 20. I'm told 20. I will be completing in 20. So it depends upon scenario, how we'll be working, right? To complete this particular part, one month course duration, right? And the course fee will be discussed. You can discuss with, about course fee with our front office team, right? So you can use this particular contact number to call them. About fees, they will explain. The same course content they will be sharing with you a soft copy. Right. So one of the plus point of uh, joining this particular course is uh, you'll be getting a real-time trainer, MCT Microsoft certified trainer, as well as you'll be getting recordings. After completion of your classes, to our evening time we have completed. So evening we won't have any team members. So next day morning, by 10 o'clock, you'll be receiving this recordings. In some cases, it might be a little bit late, but regular cases, you'll be getting by eight, uh, 10 o'clock or 11 in regular cases. Re daily, daily recording. So what if, if I miss one class? Anyway, you'll be getting a recording next day. So you can go through that particular recording and attend the class. If you have any queries related to that particular session, you can ask. Right. So these are some of the plus points you can uh, to think of to join at all. A small session on feed, uh, let me demo we have taken on Excel. Any queries you are welcome to ask. If not, we'll wind up with this particular talk. And shortly we'll be starting our session, uh, like uh, as today is Tuesday. We'll be, uh, we'll be taking like two days time minimum. We'll be starting on Friday, if possible. If number is fine, we'll directly start from Friday or else directly we'll start from Monday. Positively, I, have to, I will be starting from 26. Right? If you are, if you're getting a good number to start with, we'll directly start. Or as irrespective of number, if, if uh, like this only demonstration as well as Offline participant, irrespective of number, even if there is a two members batch, we'll be starting on Monday, irrespective of number. So till Friday, we'll be seeing the counting. If it is five, we'll start on Fridays, if we get the number. Right. Thank you. Thank you all for your valuable time. Thank you. Good night. Thank you.